On September 22, 2018, I went to a birthday party. At some point, for a reason I can't remember quite well, me and two friends went for a walk and ended up finding a mini golf field. So, we had this brilliant idea of flying on the grass of that mini golf. Five minutes later, there we were. Three girls lying on the mini golf grass, looking up to the sky and talking about miscellaneous topics. One of those being, do aliens build Machu Picchu? We discussed for a while, but it led to nothing. However, at that moment, I felt a little bothered, like I had something to say. I felt the need to stand up and do something. So here I am. Now, going back in time to the 15th century in the pre-Columbian America, I would like to tell you a little bit about the Inca. I hope it's no secret that the Inca had great power and ingenuity. During its prime, the Inca civilization stretched about 4,000 kilometers along South America's Pacific coastline, from Ecuador down to Chile. This distance is nearly the horizontal width of the continental United States. They also ruled about 12 million people who spoke at least 20 languages. If that's not enough, the Inca constructed the mountaintop city of Machu Picchu, located around 2,500 kilometers above sea level 500 years ago. It's one of the few well-preserved remnants of this astonishing civilization, as well as a stunning example of the Inca engineering feats. They constructed Machu Picchu's terraces, temples, and more than 100 staircases using stone and without the help of mortar. Moreover, these stones work out with such precision that they perfectly fit together, being even earthquake-proof. Now's the time you ask, wouldn't they have to be incredibly smart to do that? Well, we can say that a fundamental element to succeed on building Machu Picchu was the efficient way of managing the labor force of millions of individuals, as well as enormous amounts of resources, by having a very sophisticated system of accounting, statistics, and record-keeping of such elements. Nonetheless, it's impossible to overemphasize the importance of what we could call the thought process. I guess we've established here that they were very skilled builders, but it should be noted that none of it would have been possible without mastering an advanced understanding of math, civil engineering, and topography. Although we're not questioning, I want to make things very clear between us and say that, the, um, that this understanding was inherited from the Andean people, ancestors of the Inca who had inhabited this part of the world for almost 14,000 years. They were the ones who laid all the bases to the knowledge that the Inca used. Now, let's go back to Machu Picchu. There are several theories about what purpose it served or why it was abandoned 100 years after its construction. And trust me, we could stay here for hours discussing them. But it will lead to nothing again without what I'll tell you in a minute. Although local communities knew about Machu Picchu, it remained largely unknown to the outside world for hundreds of years. The Spanish, who invaded the Inca civilization during the 16th century, never came across the place. And maybe for a good reason. Surprisingly, it was only in the early 20th century that Machu Picchu was unraveled, and today it stands as one of the world's most important archaeological heritages, and visitors from all around the world come to pay homage to this piece of history, including myself. That's why I felt I had something to say. During my visit to Peru in 2017, I fell in love with this culture and realized we don't give half the attention we should to late and ancient civilizations. And not only that, we undermine their abilities. You may say I'm being harsh or exaggerating, but let's think for a minute. Why do we question if Machu Picchu was built by other beings? Some of you here may even say it was, but let me tell you a secret. It was made by people. However, as a significant part of the Inca culture was destroyed by the Spanish, the know-how has been lost. We can say history has its own way of forgetting or making you forget. I can surely say here that mankind has advanced and gone back numerous times, and it's rather selfish to think that we, don't, that we know it all nowadays, or assume that the uncivilized, unchristian, Arabic Indians wouldn't be able to build such great works of engineering. The time has come to drop the whole speech of, I don't know how it was done, so it was made by aliens, that by the way is quite far-fetched, and open our minds to the breathtaking cultures we have around the world, including our own. Not only thinking about it, but being proud of where you're from and understanding that we only learn one side of history, and it's not the latent one. Till this day, we contemplate a worldview heavily influenced by few countries, 
and that has our education and mindset to be blind towards what's around us. Therefore, I must remind you that, as Gandhi once said, a nation's culture resides in the hearts and in the soul of its people. Don't let history erase you. And more than that, don't let your culture be forgotten. So, the next time you see yourself lying on the grass of a mini golf field, looking up to the sky, and someone asks, did aliens build Machu Picchu? You, in fact, stand up and do something. Thank you. <laughs>